Good morning, guys. So I'm here doing your weekly reading for what is the subconscious mind of humanity calling out for? And I am going to be using the beautiful Frequency Tarot as well as the Gateway Oracle. Now, I've already pulled the card for this week because as I was shuffling just before I came on, the card popped out and it is just a beautiful card. And so the card that came out is Immunity. Immunity. Okay, so I'm just going to let you take a quick look at that and just kind of, you know, zone in on the mandala. Alrighty, so with this immunity card, first I want to read a little bit from the book for you. So it is, you are not as vulnerable as you feel. You have stability, even if you don't recognize it. Toxic energies will not adhere to you at this time, so don't worry about them. You are protected and exempt from these negative effects. You love yourself enough to do what feels right. You are approving of yourself enough that your self-worth has imbued you with immunity to the things that could harm you. Believe that what you are doing is right. Know that what you are doing is right and know that you are worthy to live the life that you have chosen. All right, so that's from the book. So now I wanna add in my own intuitive thoughts and my own, we could say opinion about it. So what this card is really saying is it's time for us to stand even more in our self-love and our self-worth, and you actually are standing in that. And that's why the negative energy is unable to adhere to you at this time, because you are beginning to more and more recognize, I don't need to be around them. I don't need that. Okay. And that's what this card is really saying. It's saying that you're coming into more of a space of, I love myself and I know my worth. That's what this card is saying. And, you know, the other thing that I want to get into is, remember, no one can make you happy. No one can make you sad. What it is, is your reaction to the words that are coming out of their mouth. That's what it is. That's what's making you sad. It's your reaction to their words instead of your response to them. Now, by no means am I perfect at this either. You know, I still react to what people say to me, but I try more and more to respond to it. So that's another part of this card is remember you are standing in your own self-love and your own self-worth. So you know what affects you and how it affects you. And so that's something to also be akin to, be aware of. It's like, okay, I know these things affect me. How can I respond to them instead of react to them? And then the final thing that I want to state about this card is when it comes to negative energy, okay, my belief in this is that protection, you know, psychic protection, yes, is extremely important. However, we shouldn't just set up psychic protection all the time, just going out. What I perceive psychic protection or that shielding of yourself to be is just a buffer zone until you can get used to the energies that are around you until you feel comfortable, if you will. And so, you know, when you say that negative energy can get to you, number one, you are God. So anything that you state and you believe is going to happen. The negative energy is going to be able to touch you, is going to be able to hurt you, is going to be able to harm you and affect you. But if you are in the belief that you can stand in your own self-love and your own self-worth and you are a powerful, sovereign being of free will, then here's what you have to realize. It's your free will choice to allow that negative energy to affect you. And so this immunity card is saying, stand in your own power, stand in yourself and say, I choose not to be affected by that which is perceived as negative. Okay. Because that is going to bring you into a much different space, a much different state of mind. Okay. And instead of seeing, you know, enemies at the door, you're just going to be seeing all those who are light. Okay. Cause that's all that we are. We are all just one light in this world through a myriad of different unique expressions. Okay. So with this immunity card, once again, you have immunity. You've always had immunity, 
but it is just coming more to the forefront now because you are standing in your own self-worth and your own self-love. And, you know, you know when things are going to affect you and you know when situations are negative and you're just like, you know what? I don't need this. Bye. And use your God, use God's greatest gift to you, your left and your right foot and walk away. Just walk away. I don't need this. And that's you standing in your power. That's you standing in your own self-worth. That's you standing in your own self-love because you're saying, I love myself enough to walk away from this situation. Okay, so that's what this card is an invitation for. And now let's go ahead and let's go to the Gateway Oracle and see what guidance the Gateway Oracle has for us. Oh, all right. So we already got our card. Let's see what we got. So what a beautiful confirmation. Accept what is. I accept and embrace my inner majesty. So look at that. So once again, it's about you embracing you, embracing your own self-love, embracing your own self-worth, and embracing all that you are and saying, I accept myself. Because in that acceptance of yourself, we have the self-worth. So I accept myself for all that I am, as well as the self-love. And you're accepting your inner majesty that you are a divine being that can create whatever situation in your life. Okay. And so this accept what is, is accept that you are responsible for your response and your reaction to life. That's really what these two cards are saying is you have the responsibility. The, here we go. We're going to break it down. Mimi Clark, beautiful woman, um, who I'm actually doing a mentorship with. She breaks down responsibility into two words, response and ability. So you have the ability to respond to anything at any given time. And so that's, once again, what these cards are really calling you to do. The immunity card is calling you to step into your own self-worth, your own self-love. And this accept what is card is saying, accept yourself for all that you are, for your own inner majesty, and accept that you are the one who has created all the situations in your life. And, you know, with this immunity card, you now have the ability to go back and look and say, okay, well, what didn't I like? What did I like? And how can I now say, this is what I wish to experience. All right. So that is your reading for this week. And I send you all my love.